Hello, cybersecurity professionals. Welcome to AV Cyberactive. And hope you all are doing good. Today, I'll explain vertical versus horizontal scanning attacks and how attacker used these techniques to perform reconnaissance. But before we proceed, it's very important to understand post scanning and how it works. So post scanning is a method of detecting vulnerable nodes in a network by accessing different ports on a host or the same port on a different host. Again, notice what it says here. It's gathering information by scanning either different ports on a host or same port on different hosts. Now the same concept can be split into horizontal and vertical scanning that attackers use to do a recon. Beginning with horizontal scanning, also known as network scanning. It sends requests to the same port on different hosts. Attackers use horizontal scanning to prepare for a mass attack. To give you a visual demonstration, the attacker will use a given tool in their arsenal and send queries to a large group of computers, but on the same port, example, port 25, which is used for SMTP mail relay. Now keep in mind, depending on the firewall configuration on the host, the attacker will get a reply back. This is how an attacker determines if a particular port is open on a host. Now in case of a vertical scanning, the attacker sends requests to different ports on the same host. Attackers typically use vertical scanning to look for vulnerabilities in a pre-selected target device. Since the target device in vertical scanning is just one device, hence the term vertical scan, attacker sends scan requests to different ports but to the same host. This gives attacker enough information on the services that are open on a particular machine and then plan the next stage of their attack. Now it's also very important to know how you protect your network against port scans. There are three ways how this can be achieved. Firstly, to have a strong firewall because a firewall can prevent unauthorized access to a business's private network. It can control ports and their visibility to other devices and as well to detect a port scan when it's in progress before shutting it down. Second is to have TCP wrappers. It's a setting in the firewall that permits or denies access to servers based on context like IP addresses and domain names. Third and the most important one, which is to uncover network holes. This means organizations can use port checker to determine open ports and this needs to be regularly used to check and report vulnerabilities that they have and the potential to get exploited. Now I'll leave some links down below so you can read more on horizontal and vertical scanning. I also highly recommend you check my video on HTTP versus HTTPS on the cards that explains how a data in transit can be secured. With this, I'll come to the end of this video. I thank you all for watching. Please feel free to leave in your comments and suggestions if you would want to see more content like these. And also at bare minimum, share this video with your friends and family whom you think would benefit by watching this. Hope you all have a lovely day ahead. Bye now.